Now here's the seat. Now the cushion, I can already tell. is a lot nicer than both of these cushions. Now just remember, this is a this is pretty hard cushion, but all of them can be removed and changed out to whatever cushion you prefer. Tires are much bigger, higher back, and you fold it up pretty much the same way as all the other ones, and we'll show you all that. And then you can lean it back has like a little kickstand, fold this up, pick it straight up. Now, they say this weighs 52 pounds. 52 pounds is probably without the battery. Battery's not very heavy, it's probably four pounds. We're at zero, we're at 53 pounds. For some people that's gonna be very heavy, but Performance wise, I'm telling you, this is going to outdo both of these units, especially if you're getting something for the yard or if you're getting something just for traveling, solely traveling, you need something really light, definitely go with the carbon or the cricket because the cricket's even lighter than the carbon. But if you need something to go through your grass and to take places and someone can pick up 52 pounds, you're probably going to like this one. And it's about $1,000 cheaper. Big difference in the tires. They're about 11 inches. Pretty wide. The front's about two inches. The back one's about two inches. Front tire has spring shocks and it's about, about a little over seven inches. For both of these, the Cricket's at a little bit less than seven, about an inch and a half in width. So that's a big difference. So the carbon's wheels seem to be a little bit bigger or about the same. They're both about eight inches at the back. These two are identical. They're coming almost, they're coming probably from the same factory. Just a little bit of a tweak to them. Foot rest, I like the foot rest better on the Cricut than I do on the carbon, especially when you're picking it up and I'll show you that in the, pretty shortly. I do like this back probably better, but this one's pretty nice. This one kind of goes up, looks like it goes up a little bit higher, but if you look at them side by side, it looks the same. So this is the Stride. Uh, model is GP301. And we'll have some specs about it and there'll be a link to this to go over the spec page. So I'm having to cheat a little bit since all this is new. 265 pound weight capacity, where both of these I think have 300. I know this one has a 300 pound weight capacity. Both of them get about 9.3 miles battery operating range. 3.7 miles per hour is the speed on both of them. When it comes down to it too is programming. The programming on this, I haven't drove it yet, but I, I think it's pre, you can, we could program it. So if you're, you're buying this, you don't like the setting of it, you can go to a local dealer and have them program it for you. This program is different than this one. I like the way this one performs better. And we're gonna do, like I said, a comparison video, take it outside, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and grab the carbon and do the weight test on it. So they all have a bag, just so you know, underneath here. They all three have a bag. This one's a little bit more at the top, which I probably like it. A little bit easier probably to get to. Store your charger, store some money, whatever you like. And you can always put a bag on the back of these things for extra storage. Point out what's the same, flip back arms. They all have it, even the Cricut. They're all the same. So all of them can have the remotes changed from right to left. All of them, the seats, cushions can be removed and replaced with whatever seat cushion you like. Just by pulling them right off. You can put a per wrap seat cushion your custom seat cushion you might may have, foam or gel foam, whatever. We have tons of cushions if you need help getting a new cushion. So out of the three, this is the best. This is second, this is third. But again, that's not that's an easy fix, changing the cushions. They all have batteries that come up to the front, just like this. 
they all can be charged through here. So you can leave this in the car, take this inside, and charge it up. And when you're ready to go, you can carry this back out to your car. So they, that's all very similar. Um, they all fold up about the same way. Back to how we folded that one up. And then you can kind of, you know, pull this back, kind of kickstand. This is where I think you have a little bit of an issue picking them up, is trying to find a spot to grab it on the carbon because of the way the foot plate is. But it's manageable. So let's see how much this weighs. Justin, you want to come in and see this? Did you get the last one? So we got set at zero. 40 pounds. That's without the battery, 40 pounds. So I think that's what they say it is. And they all have this cool anti-tippers at the back that can be released. So when you're riding it, you can pull that out. When you go fold it up, you can slide that back in. It's very easy to do that. So now we're gonna grab the Cricut. Again, here's your battery that can be removed. I do like Goldens on both of their units. They have your beep codes, very easy to see. So if you're out and it gives you a fault code, you can figure out what it is. If it's a right motor fault, left motor fault, left brake, right brake, controller, all that's right here, which is nice. Stride has it also. The Pride Carbon doesn't really tell you what's wrong, so you need to carry your manual around with you. So I do like how Golden does that. So here's the Cricut. And again, all of them can be put in free will by pushing these buttons back with it turned off. You can push it like a manual wheelchair. So if someone has this and they're nervous and like a lot of people are around, you can push someone around. So let's fold this one up and check the weight. Because that's what we're finding. Everyone wants something as light as they can get it. So you can also bring this back. So I'm never really picking it up. And with the Cricut, you got to have it extended out just a little bit for the kickstand to work. But I like how you have a little bit easier spot to grab this. And it's definitely lighter. So we'll go ahead and check the weight on that. Thirty-four pounds. Do you see that? Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five point six pounds. And I think where we're we at forty on this one. So five pounds is a lot. A big difference. You see, I had a little bit of a problem, but that's really just my fault. So here's all what all three of them look like on the ground. Performance wise, obviously we got to do a ride test. I've already ridden the Cricut. This performs way better than the Carbon. The Carbon has a big delay. This one kind of maneuvers better than the Carbon. I do like that, but they're very similar with each other. I wouldn't sell this for someone, sell this to someone that's going to be using this primarily in the yard. Even though we haven't done the grass test yet, we will. We'll find out which one performs better, if they can even handle it. They're, they're both very lightweight. This is all carbon, supposedly. They're carbon, which is a lot of carbon. You see there's springs down here. This one doesn't have it, but I felt like this one rode just as smooth as that one. And again, this one's probably gonna ride the best for your yard, but this one's gonna be heavier than these two. So most comfort so far, lightest. This one's five pounds heavier than the Cricut. Price-wise on these units right now, the Cricut's gonna come at the higher price. I think it's listed at $29.95. This one, I believe, is $24.95, and this one's going to be around $19.95. Since we're launching the Cricut as a special, contact us. We can give you a couple hundred bucks. Just let us know. If you saw this video, give us a call. We'll give you a good deal on the Cricut. We have plenty of them in stock.